Hello. So this is the next blog, first post. Uh, some of this may look familiar, but uh, I have finished parting out the townhouse, I think it was called, or the family home, or whatever it was called. And I have started work on the mobile command center, 60139. I have five copies of that. Uh, it is currently just over here in these bins. That piece came loose, and then the instructions and the sticker sheet. Uh, but I brought down uh, the mail, uh, those three packages, plus this stuff. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to possibly make use of this. Now, one idea I had originally was to use a stack of these trays for pieces that I only had like one or two of. Uh, especially for new, I thought that would be a good idea. Uh, I know that, uh, and then there's no top, so I would like maybe have one empty tray at the top to keep the dust out. Um... But then I realized I also have these drawers, uh, and I've got three units. Those two actually still have the Lego sticker on it, although that one's coming off. Uh, and then basically these things fit in there. You can actually fit two of them in there as well. Uh, and then the drawer completely closes like that. Uh, but I was thinking I could use these drawers in the same way. And so, like, I could have the drawers numbered, and then, you know, I could even have the locations numbered or just like, okay, I'm looking for a piece that's in this drawer. Oh, it's one of these 19, because there's 19 slots in these. Um, but I'm thinking I might use this for real low quantity, like one to five pieces or one to four pieces or something like that. And it's going to depend upon the size of the piece too. Uh, because again, I am starting to be a little concerned of space for the small drawers over here. And this is probably going to be a rehash, but I've put some drawers away since... Uh, I've been over here. So I've got uh, this is the new side and we're actually up to here for the large door So we filled up or we're using all of these uh, These are down or these ones down here are gone because they are in the next set And then like this drawer this one is you know probably gonna move to a larger thing very shortly because now I can even there we go I can barely get it in there um, but then all the small drawers are in use and again all these holes are because they're in this next set so I've pulled drawers to be able to add to them all the way around and now this side here is also new all the way down here and then I've used BDO1 and BDO2 and ironically BDO1 is in the new set so it was in this set and the one prior to it it's kind of funny so I, I'm, I'm more than three quarters of the small drawers are in use currently uh, because there's each of these top halves is the same, and so there's four of those sides, and I just barely got past into that last quarter. So I've got all these drawers left, about almost 400 drawers. So there's 96 small ones in each section, and there's four, so it's almost 400 drawers. Uh, but I'm a little concerned with the space. Now, I can, as I've mentioned before, go in and subdivide. Like here, I could probably put a divider into these and have all these pieces in half the drawer without too much trouble. But I've been kind of avoiding that for the time being. And I don't really have the space currently or the wherewithal to actually have another floater unit constructed over here, which would give me another side for new. Uh, and I still have all these large drawers that need to get filled. I am very positive that I'm going to start using more of them. Because, I mean, in the last one or two sets, I've gone from, like, maybe about here to all the way down through over here. So I think these are gonna start getting used a lot more, especially as some of these smaller drawers are, are getting quite full, like this one here, just random drawer. It's getting fairly full. Uh, and a couple of them maybe could have moved to a larger drawer already, like this one here. It's, it's full, but I mean, it still fits in there, no trouble. It goes right in and out, no trouble. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that quite yet. But, I mean, there is definitely a number of drawers. And this one looks like another one here. This one could probably get moved pretty soon if I have to add any more. But for the time being, it's fine where it is. So that's that how that's going. And, then, of course, the totes over here. Uh, I'm finding these shoe boxes. I was probably ill planning. Now, here, the shoe boxes will fit too wide. That first section, they will not. Uh, it is not wide enough for too wide. Um, I think we probably didn't go over quite as far as I was originally hoping because it's almost too wide. And I think if we'd gone over to the door, the jam there, it probably would have been too wide. But it didn't work out that way. So I will probably look into some smaller contrivance here. I could probably also put pickup brick cups here as well as on along the tops where I was planning on it too. But in any case, 
Um, and you know, that's something else I can do here is I can start using pickup brick cups. I mean, there's not a lot of room right here because of the, the duct work and the beam, but I can put a couple here and then put more over here. Uh, and I could also put totes up there if I decided to, but I like the picker brick cup idea better because I can just kind of reach up and grab a cup much easier than a full tote, I think. I think there'd be less uh, worry about it spilling or falling or anything like that. But anyway, so yeah. Um, and so we've still got these here. We're going to figure out with those. And then I got to figure out with those over there, the multicolored Lego ones, where I would put those for the small quantity pieces. Um, I mean, there's a spot over there at the end I just have to move that one box and then I'd block that vent, but I probably don't need the vent terribly much at the moment. So that's a possibility. Um, I was originally leaving this space here for another metal shelving unit because it'll fit in there because I'm going to need that space at some point because I've got three over there and only two here. And I'd like a third one right now. I got a lot of other stuff going on here. All these boxes, I'm saving the flat bags that the Lego sets come shipped in for reuse and shipping out so those are going to accumulate quickly i'm going to have to come up with a better storage system for those but for the time being and then this duplo tub just has all the instructions that i'm not actually going to be trying to sell i'm generally speaking only selling a portion of each set's uh, instructions because there's not a lot of value in most of them although i think i listed one yesterday it was like a buck and a half or something like that so it was a little surprising but it was a little bit older too not a lot just you know, a couple of extra years so that's what I'm up to. And then I think we're going to go ahead and open up these packages. So we're going to make this a little bit longer of a section here. Uh, and so this is a variety of things that I have picked up. All right. So this is two copies of this set, the uh, Minecraft, uh, the Coral Reef, kind of beat up, but they're going to be for parting out. So it don't matter to me at all some extra bubble that they put in there that didn't really help at all because they mailed it in a puff pack. But again, since I'm parting it out, I don't really care. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going for 10 or 15 of that set. I don't remember how many I have already. This is a priority mail one. I want to be careful how I open this because of what's inside. I do have a pair of scissors down here, so we're going to grab those. See if I can get this right in that little hole. Yeah. Okay. All right, so they're in a Ziploc. That's nice. So this is, I believe, eight more copies of that VIP promo bag. Uh, and there was somebody on BrickLink selling these for what I thought was a decent price, and I went and bought them all. And so that's that. There's no packing. So there is a little slip in there. I'll have to take a look at that later. I don't want to show it in case it's got their address or anything goofy like that on it. And then the last one, which is... A good example of like, yeah, maybe we didn't care. This was an eBay purchase, um, and they basically used a shopping bag and taped it directly around the box. I mean, it works, but you know, I wouldn't expect to ship anything like this for somebody who is particularly concerned about the condition. Now, I'm not. I think I might have mentioned in it that if they wanted to save money on shipping, because I think it was a free shipping option. I think I said if they wanted to save money on the free shipping, they could open it up and not send the box or instructions. But they did, and that's up to them. They can do that. That's not a problem. Um, but, you know, they spent a little bit more money than they would have needed to, and so they could have had more money in their pocket. I was trying to be helpful. And, you know, if they were concerned about my coming back and saying, oh, I didn't know the box, well, it's clearly an eBay message saying I, you don't have to keep the box there, so... But whatever. All right, so they've taped the uh, paper to the bag that they then put around the set, which didn't even really completely go around the set, but hey, whatever. They tried, I guess. Um, I guess I won't be reusing that bag. Or right, so it looks like a couple of different bags, but this is another copy of the 31104 Monster Burger Truck. I believe this means I have 10 of it now. And that's kind of what I wanted to get to, is that nice even number of 10. Uh, and some plastic that I will recycle, and some paper that I will recycle. And that is it for the haul. And that is it for uh, today's uh, section of this video. Uh, I'm about to edit uh, the prior vlog and get it up, uh, hopefully in another hour or so. 
Anyway, thank you very much. All right, so the mobile command center is parted out fully. Uh, I got pretty low on drawers or storage little things. I had to use the lids to some of these on the blue ones, which they're a little big for using it, but I was just running out and I was at the last small bag. So, I mean, a lot of these I wouldn't normally put on something that large. I just had to move it to something so I'd have something else to put something else in. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get more of these. I really like these small ones, and then the lids for them work really well. They're nice and stable. These, I don't feel like they're nice and stable. They kind of rock a little bit, but these are very stable. So I'd like to get more of these small ones. Uh, and they, they take up less space, and, you know, I can fit... All of these would have fit in them, and, and a lot of this stuff, and just... You can get a lot in them. So yeah, that is the situation, and very shortly I will probably start scanning into drawers. They've got to go pull drawers, uh, empty ones that is. These are the ones that already exist, but I need to have a cart over here of full ones, or of empty ones, to put in the new lots. And there's a bunch of them, there's like 130 new lots. So I'm going to grab one of these totes here, because the these drawers fit in them the other direction pretty well, and I can get like five or six stacks of them in there, and I'm going to go do that. And, uh, yeah, that might be it for Monday night. Thank you. All right, so I have gone ahead and finished the parting out of the one set, the uh, police headquarter type set, mobile command base, whatever it was. And I had a friend come over and we finished that up. And then we took an inventory of the Ninjago sets, the Mario, the hidden side, and some all that stuff that's all down through here. Um, and then we did quickly knocked off a Mario set. It was only five copies of this Boomer Bill Barrage 71336, but we did that pretty quick. Uh, and so, yeah, the, uh, the store has more parts in it still, and we keep working on that. And I think I'm done for tonight, though. And that is about the size of it. Thank you very much. Hello again. So last night uh, was Tuesday night, and I did a whole bunch of work down here. I parted out a set and then started working on another one, which I am now finishing up on. Uh, I had somebody message me that I know who had entered the contest and said, Hey, thanks for, you know, choosing me as a winner. And I hadn't yet because the contest goes until September 1st. And I had previously noticed from somebody else having leave, left a message that there had been a spam bot in saying, Congratulations on winning. Message me at the above, etc. So I'm just like, yeah, that's it's just crap. So I went in and deleted all those I could, but when he messaged me, I went in and checked again to make sure that the spam bot wasn't back because I had blocked and reported them all. Um, and like 10 or 11 new entries into the contest, which was great, but I'm starting to see some commonality in the names. So uh, it seems that one or more People seem to be entering under a whole bunch of different names, and I get it. If you've got a couple of different accounts, you're going to perhaps do that. Uh, I don't know that there's a way for me to actually enforce not doing that. Uh, I am open to ideas, so if you have any ideas on that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, one thing I thought about was to set it up so that uh, they couldn't really enter unless they had previously commented on a video, but I don't really have a way don't have any way to track who has commented on my videos and I don't want to keep like this book that just gets longer and longer and longer because you know I get comments sometimes from people it's like the only time they comment and that sort of thing so so yeah I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that but they are entered at the moment uh and until I come up with a solution that's probably the way it's going to stay as you can see I've got parts here on drawers or in drawers uh these parts here did not exist in the store yet there's a lot of this bright light orange in here. I kind of think it's a neat color. A couple other people don't agree with me, and that's fine. Um, there's also this dark orange, which I kind of like, and then I've got three drawers in a row, dark orange, dark red, and dark tan, which I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, these drawers over here were the ones for this particular set that already existed, with the exception of some of the large ones in the back, because when I fill up a large drawer or move something from a smaller drawer to a larger drawer, it goes back there so that they stay in order. So it's easier to put away. Uh, but yeah, so we are down here. It's actually uh, not that late in the day at all. It's like a little afternoon or maybe 1 o'clock or something like that. So I'm going to be down here working on parting out hopefully a couple more sets today. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. So I've been quite busy. Today is Wednesday. 
and what you're seeing on this cart is all the parts that already existed in my inventory for a set that I'm about to do or start working on. Um, but already over here, I've done these two small sets today, the Wildlife Rescue ATV 60300 and the Coral Reef 21164. I did uh, uh, 10 copies of each. So pretty sure what I did. Um, and so, yeah, there was a lot of stuff in all those. But I decided I'm going to try to do an even bigger set. I've been doing a small to just barely larger than small. So the next one that I'm going to try to do is this one here. Hold the box up. Ugh. The Lego Ideas 21320. This is the dinosaur fossils. Uh, I think they call it that somewhere on the box, but maybe not. That's what it is, as you can see. And uh, I've opened up the bags for them over here. Um, there is two tote for bag two, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of bags. I opened up 16 copies. Uh, there is one box that's not present. It's in behind these bags, and it has all the instructions in it. And then there's a small little pile of sticker sheets over here. So, yeah, this is going to be... A little bit more than I've done before and that's okay I'm kind of moving slowly forward uh, 910 pieces per so this is gonna be quite a lot of pieces overall uh, but yeah that is what I'm going to be working on I'm not gonna get terribly far today I'm actually gonna move a lot of these totes off the table because they're kind of getting it's gonna be my way for spreading out I may set up another table that you can see I've got over there over on the other side, kind of where those chairs are, because I'm probably going to need more room. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot, of, or I could possibly, you know, clear this table off a little bit better too, but it's kind of like a stop point with the, the laptop here. I usually don't go this direction with the pieces. But in any case, that is what I am up to right now on Wednesday. I'm not expecting to finish tonight, because it's too late already. Um, and uh, I probably won't finish tomorrow would be my guess. It may be Friday before I finish, but we will get there and I will update as I go. Again, thank you very much. Hello, so we are now through bag one of the big sort. I uh, got a bunch of black, even more white, a few other random colors throughout. There were two sub bags. I haven't touched those yet, so it's just the main bag one. I am missing one of this piece here uh, and oddly I had one of this piece that shouldn't even have been in the bag that's the only one that was in there so my guess is maybe they checked it by weight and it's similar weight to that piece although it seems like it would be a little lighter so I'm gonna have a, a spot for pieces that don't exist and maybe it's in a different bag and I can add it to that quantity or something uh, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some time and I'm going to move these containers a little further away because as you can see I'm sorting by color and it's kind of like the alphabet starts over here with black ends over here with white and the, the yellow head uh, and I'm just kind of spread them out a little bit because I'll just the next thing I sort will be more colors and I'll keep spreading them out to the other tables so that when it's time to go through and in, uh, put the stuff in uh, I can just grab something like this which is what I've been sorting in and put like all the white pieces in there in their containers bring them back to this table and then get them drawers and that sort of thing. But that's what I'm working on. So I'm gonna take a little break and uh, then we'll come back to it and we'll finish up those sub bags in bag one. All right, and here we are. We've completely finished the first bag and all the ancillary stuff. And as you can see, I've pushed the stuff further away off this table. This will be the table that I sort bag two. Bag two is gonna be the tough one because it's it didn't fit in one of these totes. I had to use two. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. Uh, I have switched to the larger bin that I have. Not a lot larger, but a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to dive into bag two here in just a moment or two. And uh, so yeah, just the one piece that was missing so far. And the last thing I just did is I opened up the little bags of all these flat silver tools. Nine of which of them there are. And so there are 16 of each of those. In any case, then we are going forward. Thank you. So just a quick update. Bag two is open. I had to use two of these bins 
uh, and I put eight bags in each one so when I go to count out I know there's eight of everything from each one or more depending but in, in multiples of eight and then there was two smaller bags in that bag so those will come up afterwards so yeah I'm still have those four bags over there to get to at some point it's gonna definitely take a while but we're getting there thank you all right so we finished bag two and the small bags inside bag two we have a lot more black especially this piece here it's like six by ten it's a, it's a big one there's like 32 of them in there uh, and so we've got all the colors spread out lots and lots of white in this set but that's kind of to be expected plenty more white to come too as that table clears out over there those bins it'll give me more space I'll just slide the yellows down there's only a couple of them and give me more room for white as well uh, but it's time for me to go have something to eat I'm hungry so we're gonna break here and come back and I'm gonna try to get bag three done tonight uh, and maybe look at bag four we'll see uh, I think it's gonna be pushing it to get that much done but we'll see anyway thank you very much this is just a quick little update this is one of the two small bags that were in bag three and it's all white this is going to be it's going to hurt my eyes the last bag had a lot of white and i ended up trying to pull more white earlier so that other colors were still in there contrasting but this is starting out all white so yeah this is going to be interesting but then we're off to that bag down there in that tote which is mostly all white so it'll be fun Anyway, um, I'm hoping to get done with bag three, both of the small bags tonight. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we've sorted bag three completely. I've dumped bag four. There's all the bags for bag four. There's only one small bag in four, which I feel like is progress, uh, as opposed to having two. And uh, this will go pretty quick, I think. There's a lot of different colors in here, and those black plates take up a lot of space. And I already have a bunch, so they'll just get added to that. So that is the situation right now. I'm going to push a little bit more and see if I can get through bag four, at least the main bag, maybe not the small one. Anyway, thank you. All right, it is still Thursday, barely. Uh, I'm going to be heading upstairs soon. We have finished bag four and five and six are left to do, so I think tomorrow we'll finish this up. Uh, lots of black few other colors except for white where there's just an enormous quantity of white and some of these pieces were in like almost every bag um like this piece here i've got almost an entire cup of these pieces these little cups that i've been using i'm still you know we had that one missing piece i've also found one piece that doesn't seem to even go in a set and then an extra of one it was uh this one we have one extra so big deal on that one but i've got that set aside so i can set the inventory number correctly but yeah we are we're cruising along so i've just got this heavily white bag five and the heavily white bag six over there to add to all this white brick that's here and i've been finding in a couple of cases where i've forgotten i didn't realize i had a piece and so i had two locations so i'm going to be aware of that when i'm uploading that i think I may have missed a few things in consolidating them down like I think I just noticed one like this one right here this piece is the same as this piece so we dump it in there so yeah that sort of thing is going to happen especially with so many um, bags containing the same pieces over and over but that's the way it is and I'm going to uh, go upstairs and maybe watch some TV snack on something and uh, get some rest so until tomorrow thank you all right, so it's uh, Friday. It's raining pretty hard out at the moment. And right there in the middle of the screen, really, is that's the one of the drains that you can actually see from my back door. And uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's actually water flowing into it, so that's a good thing. And uh, we're gonna go see if there's uh, any water visible coming out the pipe at the other end. All right, so it's hard to see through the wet screen but I don't see any water flowing out of the pipe in mass. I had seen it in the past, but uh, not at the moment. Anyway, we're going to head into the basement shortly, but I do have some other things I have to take care of. All right, back in the basement, Friday. Uh, the rain got even heavier, and we had a, quite a lake up there. 
and uh, I was waiting for a phone call and watching a video on YouTube on the TV. Flash of lightning and the audio on the TV went out and we now no longer have internet connection. But since I'm just taking a video on my phone, I can do that. Uh, I've dumped all of the bag five. That's all of it there. So just white and tan and light bluish gray and I see a clear piece. So that's all a lot of fun stuff in there. There are again two sub bags down there. So we'll have to get through those. And then I'll just have bag six left over there. So we're getting there. I'm um, hoping to get this done tonight. So we'll see how that all goes. And thank you very much. All right, after much work, I have finished bag five. Uh, the white is getting out of control here, but a lot of these will condense into those over there. And I got plenty of room over there as well. Um, I have two of these white containers left. I bought 100 of them, so I think 98 of them are in use, that means. I mean, it seems like that's the case. Unless there's some of them somewhere, I'm not sure they where they got to. Um, so we got to condense, and then we just have bag six left over there. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're getting there. I'm going to condense this stuff and then open up bag six. Thank you. Okay, so we've consolidated bag five. And as you can see, there's the two small white cups I had left. And these are all ones that I was able to consolidate and then do some jiggling around or whatnot. Now, some of this was a case of, you know, I brought over a cup and there was already one of these, but it was too much to fill either one. So it had to go to an even larger container. So I had, uh, I brought over some of this size, the larger Acromills drawers and dumped them into. And there's actually one piece that doesn't even fit into one of those. It's a Technic angle bracket. Perhaps, no, it's not a lift arm. I think, I'm not sure what they're called. But in any case, that one, uh, I just left it in the two containers that I had and I just nested them. So yeah, we are about to open up bag six here. Um, and I'm betting I'm going to have at least one sub bag, if not two. That's just the way it's been. But uh, yeah, we're, we're closing in on the end here. So hold on and you'll see it in a moment or two. All right, so we've dumped bag six. There was only one sub bag, but it's pretty much all white. There is a single tan piece in each one. So, oh, lovely joy, that's going to be to get to that. But there's certainly a lot of white in this one as well. So we are going to start plotting away at it. I'm probably going to take a quick break. Not sure if I'm going to finish everything tonight. I had a lot of other stuff to do today, so it might flow over into Saturday at this point. I'm kind of itching to get this stuff uploaded because it's going to add a lot of parts to the store. But in any case, thank you very much. All right, so here we are. Everything is completely sorted from bag six. Even the, the there was a single small bag, it's all sorted. I still have to integrate it into what's already been sorted, but that shouldn't take a real long time. Uh, but yeah, I have run out of the white containers completely, and I only have maybe a half dozen of these small Acromills drawers left. I even used a bunch of the larger ones, a couple of cases where maybe I wouldn't have needed to originally. But yeah, we got that done. I'm going to take a break. Uh, I actually got up early today on Saturday. It was like 7, 7.30. I just couldn't sleep. And so I got up, I was feeling pretty good. So I'm going to relax a little bit. It's about 10.30 now. And then we're going to get back down here and finish the consolidation up. And then I can start assigning drawers, which is going to be a whole other thing because so many of these are going to go to large drawers and whatnot. It's, it's going to be fun to see everything fill up. But anyway, thank you very much. All righty. So we have consolidated and put away all the lots from the last bag. Uh, there are two pieces. They're both next to each other over there on that table. That we're missing one piece. And I have one piece that I have one extra of. And then there's that weird piece that I only had one of and it just doesn't belong on the set. Uh, so now I've got to go get uh, more drawers. I only have a few down here that are ready to go. I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of big ones because there's a lot of stuff over there that are only going to fit in bigger drawers. Um, and so I'm going to get a bunch of that stuff ready. And then I'm going to start consolidating stuff into the drawers because, I mean, some of these pieces are over here already as well. So, yeah, that whole process is about to start. But we're basically, uh, we're done. We, we got the last step and then I'll upload it and my parts count will jump considerably. Anyway, that is what I have planned. Uh, it is Saturday. It's probably around 2.30 or something like that. And, yeah, that's what I got going on right now. Thank you very much. 
All right, it is Saturday evening. It's not too late. It's like 5.30 or so. And the only thing I have left is the white and the three yellow over there to deal with. Uh, all the other colors are put away, and I've got a whole bunch of drawers that are larger drawers now, and some on the back side of the shelves here. Um, but my gaming time is coming soon, and so I'm not going to be able to finish this until either late tonight or tomorrow. I was kind of hoping I would get to this, but I did run out earlier to try to track down some totes that were on sale, and I did not get any totes, although I did find some Lego, so I guess that's a bonus. Uh, but yeah, this is all the yellow and, like I said, the three, or all the white and all and the three yellow that uh, I have yet to put away. And I think I've consolidated all the parts down into their different lots. I, I there does seem like I, I missed a couple each time I've put stuff away, like, oh, this is over here as well, and then I'll find it and put it away. But I think at this point they're all put away. But these white cups hold about as much as the drawers. And they take up a little bit less of a footprint. So I might try to get even more of these. I mean, the, the drawers are fine. The nice thing with the drawers, too, is I can kind of stack them somewhat safely because they'll hold in there. And I don't think these would be quite... Well, they might be. I don't think it would be quite as safe, though. Uh, but, yeah, I might try to get more of them, although I have, like, a 100 of them. Um, there's all these. And then these are all the ones that I've emptied so far. All the drawers that things were sorted into. So all the white ones and then... The other one's there. But yeah, so I gotta shift my laptop upstairs for my gaming, get something to eat, and then we'll see about coming back down here later tonight. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. So I did want to go over and talk about how I'm doing this process with all those white pieces. Uh, essentially, I've got my brick store file open on the computer, and as I'm going through, I'm looking at the next 10 parts and I'm laying them out here by looking for them over here. Uh, and then when I get, you know, those 10 parts, I come over and process them and then put them away and then the next 10. And also, if I end up having two compartments of something over here at this point, even though I've tried to consolidate, I'll find it at the end because I'll be done and there'll be, you know, a bin left and I can check it. I am also, I've got my accounting skill out. Anything with over 100 parts... I'm just counting to make sure that it's close. It doesn't seem to be accurate enough. Like uh, 160 pieces or so ended up being like, you know, 164 or something like that. It's, it's a little off, but it seems to be reading high. So as long as I don't use the numbers the counting scale is giving me and use the numbers that Brickstore is giving me, I should be fine because maybe there was an extra that I miscounted. I'd rather have more than have less. So that is what I'm up to now, and I'm probably... 25% uh, of the way through, maybe 33 or something like that. Uh, I've only done this process about three times. This is like the fourth one up, and there's probably another 40 or 50 over there or so. But that is what I'm up to, and you can see i got a whole bunch more of the large doors, uh, over 20 now, uh, that are new. And there's actually, I put some new ones in the back over here um, initially, so there is... There's probably going to be about 50 or 60 large drawers new by the time I'm done. Uh, and I'll come back when I'm done to kind of recap. Thank you. All right. So, that set down there, the 21320, the dinosaur skeletons, the idea set, is put away. Uh, these drawers here are the only small drawers I have left that don't have parts in them that are in the new section. And then this is a pile of, I have plenty, plenty of large drawers. Uh, as you can see, the carts are empty. But I have a hand truck over here with three totes in it. Uh, two of the totes are full, one is partially full. And these are bagged pieces from Pick-A-Brick. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those, because a lot of those are going to go to larger drawers, and will eat up more of the large drawers. I just want a little bit of a change from something from... All of the parting out that I did of that one set. And then we'll get back to some more parting out of some other sets probably tomorrow. Uh, this is still Sunday. And uh, yeah, this may be my last entry in the vlog. But we'll see. We'll come back maybe when I've done a bunch of these. Because I don't know that I'm going to get through all of them. There's quite a lot. I'm going to use the counting scale. And I'm going to like take pieces off. Because it seems to be almost always over. Uh, 
but uh, I don't know how by how much. So we're going to take some pieces off, and I'm going to notate. I think after I scan the the number in, I'm going to add in like an RC, a space in RC for recount or something like that. Uh, and I'm going to look into perhaps replacing that counting scale with a different one. Uh, it's okay, but even on some larger pieces, there was a lift arm that I was supposed to have 96 of, and I think it told me I had 98, which was pretty close, but for a large piece, it really should be spot on. So I was kind of, kind of confused how it could be off by two. So yeah, I need to play around with it a little bit. But that is all I have at this point, and we'll see you later. And we're getting close to the end of the vlog for this week. Thank you. All right, so I've unloaded the three, two and a half totes, and I've got a whole pile of bags that still need to be sorted because they weren't sorted already. All of these bags over here are sorted. It's all one piece, one color in each bag. Uh, this bag here has one stray piece in it that I can see that's a different color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and these tables are roughly organized. Like this is bricks and plate. And each half of the table is brick or plate, and then they're kind of roughly alphabetical order by color. This is all other types of pieces, and it's again roughly alphabetical by color. Uh, and this is obviously just a mess, so I need to go through this stuff first and sort it. And then I'll spread all this stuff out and try to match like things to like, because I don't want to be putting stuff in a drawer and then finding more of it later, and so on and so forth. So I have a whole bunch of sorting that I'm going to need to do with this stuff first. Uh, I probably won't even finish this tonight. And we'll get started on that and start putting stuff. I've got this box of Ziploc bags from when I had parted out and just bagged them. Uh, so I've got a lot of bags to use for them. It won't be a problem for that. Yeah, it's just going to be a bunch of sorting going on. So that's what I'm going to get working on. Uh, I'll probably pull out the trays again and dump the each bag into a tray you know, one at a time and sort them out and then rebag them and set them out because I know there's some of the same pieces are in multiple bags here. So anyway, that is what we're up against at this point. Thank you very much. All right, so this is officially going to be the last clip of this vlog. Um, I spent a lot of time breaking down some of these bags to put each piece in its own bag. And it's complicated by the fact that some of the pieces are in more than one bag, like this, uh, and then these gray ones here. And so I'm trying to go through and do the parts that make the most sense because like, I already have them. Like I just realized now there's more panels in this. I just did clear panels, so I should probably prioritize this one a little higher because then I can add the panels to it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's going to take some time to get through this. And uh, so like there's this pile of parts in front of me and then I actually just put a tote over here and it was for a while pushing parts off the edge into the tote. Um, I stopped doing that because I, then I end up finding that I, oh, I found more of that. I have to go find it. So I'm just I'm waiting for a while. And then of course these already have one part per bag and in some cases more than one bag per part. Like these sand green one by sixes, I've got all these of them. Um, so yeah, it's going to take some time to get through all this. and uh, But once I do, the part upload bonanza will begin. Uh, and most of these parts are going to go to large doors. But I mean, there are still a number of parts. Like, I think I already have this in my inventory. But I probably don't even have this many. And I could probably fit three times that in a drawer. So, you know, some st you know small drawer. Some stuff is still going to be able to be done in smaller drawers. But... One of the reasons I'm doing this is because I'm kind of at a drawer problem. And I don't know if it's poor thought out on my part or whatnot. But so for the new drawers, the new sides, which is this side here and that side there, I decided to go with more large drawers and less small drawers. So there's one and a half cabinets of small and two and a half cabinets of large. Whereas on what is intended to be the used wall, there are two and a half cabinets of small and one and a half cabinets of large. However, uh, because of the way that I am doing used uh, and trying to go through big bulk all at once, I don't know how many of the small drawers I'm going to end up using because I'm probably going to be able to bulk up and, and use larger drawers more often. So I'm just not sure if maybe these should have been the new walls, this, this organization. 
Plus there are three sides for the use. The one side here, this side here, and then the opposite side over here, which is, is blocked by a lot of stuff, but I wouldn't be getting to it for a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm just not sure. Now I can always go in and change things. Um, I mean, these, these units will come out. You know, I have to take the top one out first and so on and so forth. So I could always do that and it would cause some renumbering. Um, but it would be completely easy to do because each column is its own letter and number combination. So this is the AB column, AB1 through AB64, and then AB65 through 108, and then all the way down at the bottom, 156. But then the next column starts with its AD. And the reason it's AD and not AC is because AC is on this side. This is AA here for the shelves. So it's going to be a back and forth for picking. You can go to AA, -A, a B, A C, A D, A E, etc. Uh, so I'd make one pass through doing the multi-order picking. Um, but because of that, I can easily renumber drawers. I mean, I don't have to like if I if I add more small drawers here. Yes, I have to renumber a bunch of large drawers, move parts around. But then it doesn't affect this numbering unless I also change the drawers in this one. So that, you know, it just basically I end up having more numbers in the AB strain. And AB could go to 999, but it, even if I used all the 64 units, there's only four sections, so it'd be like 300 something. Um, so that's never going to be a problem. So, yeah, I'm just second guessing myself. Now, there are a number of, of the, the small drawers that are, are getting pretty full. Like here's one by four red plate. I could probably add a couple more in there, but it's getting to the point where it's going to move to a larger drawer. Uh, and like right down here, now this drawer, um, I had to change. It went to a shoebox. But anyway, this is as far as I've gotten. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm not even full of large drawers through the third column. And I've got, you know, all the rest of the columns. But there are a lot of pieces that are closing in on being able to move to a larger drawer. So it might work out. The other thing is with all the pieces that I have low quantity of, like these, these little clips, I don't need the whole drawer for them. So I could get the dividers out and start dividing the drawers. And I have not started to do that yet, but it is very much something I'm considering. Um, and again, one of the reasons I moved to the project of dealing with the pick-a-brick cups was one, because it would be relatively easy. I could bulk up numbers of parts pretty quickly. But these are the only small drawers that I haven't used. Now they're pulled, you know, to use, but they're the only ones that are empty at this point through what is currently the new section. Granted, none of these large drawers on this side have been touched and less than half of the large drawers on this side have been touched. So there's a lot of large drawer space, which is good and bad. So I, again, I'm just not sure if having more small drawers for the used is going to work out the way I had thought it was. Because, you know, going through used, I'm like, well, I'm probably only going to have one or two of this piece. But then if I bulk it out and I don't do that sort for a long time, I probably would have more. I still think there's going to be need for a lot of small drawers. But I think I probably could have gone with more large drawers and perhaps done it this side style. And then on this side, perhaps had one less column or one less unit of large drawers and then had another unit of small drawers which would give would have given me a lot more drawer space i mean even as that would be i'm only using five and a half drawer units if i went to only having or no well five and a half besides these so if i even went to having an extra full drawer three i would only be up to this point and, and I think barely is touching this one as far as use. And so I'd still have two more columns on this row and then eight more columns on the other side. So it, it may have been a tactical error to go with less small drawers for the new. But I, when I was thinking about things, I mean, I have a lot of sets to do in quantity. And so I'm like, OK, part of the problem there is I've only brought down one bedroom worth of sets because of space issues. And a lot of the sets that I have a lot of quantity on are in the other bedrooms. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Marvel, uh, DC, all the, all those categories are in the other bedrooms. I'm basically, you know, you've seen the stuff that came down. We'll just look by it again. It's like the Ninjago stuff here came down. Um, Super Mario, Hidden Side, a couple of smaller categories over here, the botanicals and 
the lo crocodile locomotive and the elves and and then over here i've got the idea sets uh and then the large creator vehicles architecture uh technic friends chinese new year stuff all those big art sets which i have to go through and I can probably part those out pretty easily because they come in pre-sorted bags, which is really nifty. Um, City, 3-in-1, uh, the Speed Champions, Video, and Minecraft. Uh, and that are the, these are, those are the categories that came th down. And as you can see, there's all sorts of holes where I've pulled stuff to uh, part things out. And of course, these big boxes, I'm pretty sure all that stuff's going to get parted out too. So I'll break those boxes down to get to the smaller boxes and all that. Um... So, I mean, there's continually a lot of work to do, but uh, it, what I wanted to do is that I'd done my first large part out, and I say large because there were 16 copies of a 900 plus piece set. Uh, certainly not huge of a part out, but it took me some time and I, you know, I set up the extra tables for that and I just wanted to do something a little different. So that's why I'm dealing with the pickup brick cups. But anyway... Moving right along, that is my plan. Uh, I also have another plan, like those drawer units back there, those are the Lego branded ones. They have in them those uh, trays. And I'm gonna go over there and I'll show you the tray I'm talking about. If you watched a lot of Brickstar videos, you've probably seen this tray. It's a 19 compartment tray. And what I'm thinking is I may label some of these drawer units for the trays, and then anything in my inventory that I've got like four or less of the piece will move here um and then that'll free up some more drawers too because there's been a cases even when i have not uh i've only parted out the smallest quantities four so there are some pieces i have four of and i guess i could leave those but i even have parts where there's less than that um where there was a variant uh one case i think i parted out eight or ten of the set and there was a piece in it, there was one of it in the set, but there was a variant, and only one of the of the ones that I parted out was that variant. So I've got one lone piece in a lone drawer over there. So I'm just like, yeah, that doesn't it's not really effective. Even if I put a divider in it, that's still that's half a drawer that's kind of almost wasted. But in any case, this is uh, my first full week of vlogging with uploading stuff, and I enjoyed it. I hope uh, you've enjoyed things too. Go ahead and uh like the video if you liked it if you haven't already subscribed consider that and uh, i will be back next week with another vlog and i'll probably try to do a couple of things in midweek so it's not like an entire week between vlogs between content anyway thank you very much